Hello guys, Alex here. I've coached hundreds of people in Manhattan and today I want to share with you a 10 minute abs workout that you can do just by following me and I'm in the beautiful Armory Track and Field Center. I've competed all around the world and this is my favorite track. So stay tuned, follow me and you'll get the same six pack hopefully. Now we're going to start with the basics which is the plank. Plank is the most important core and abs exercise. So we're going to do one minute of it. It's very important you can last more than a minute. If you do less than that, it means you're really out of shape. Try to keep your core tight. Don't get your ass too high. And relax your upper body. It's important to breathe to regulate your energy. We're already at 25 seconds. Suck your belly in and squeeze your glutes a little bit. Fifteen seconds left. Then we're gonna go on the side planks for forty-five seconds each. In three, two, one, and turn. Make sure your pelvis is really high. Because if you drop it here, you won't feel the sides engaged enough. So keep the pelvis as high as you can and make sure your hips are fully extended. Halfway, 22. Get ready to change in three, two, one, the other side. Thirty. Make sure to keep the pelvis really high and feel your side engaged fully. Five seconds, we're gonna go back to the regular plank and put some movement. Two, one, okay, go for it. Now you're gonna go forward, backward, and we try one minute also. Further your elbows are and more engagement you get on your abs. This one is really hard. Ten seconds left. Okay, we go back on the side and you're gonna open your legs 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, while keeping your pelvis up. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Now we go the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, good. Next move, you just lay on your belly and we're gonna do a Superman plank and add some swimming movements. So it's like this, you need to lift your knees from the floor, your hands also, and we go for one minute of swimming movements. It's very good for your shoulders mobility and make sure to squeeze your glutes as hard as you can your lower back also and the upper back is working since you're moving your arms back and forth
Make sure to keep your head up. Watch far forward. 20 seconds left. Ten. And top. Okay, that was five minutes already. I'm gonna mix for the upper abs and the lower abs. So first, put your legs up, try to get them as straight as possible, and we go for 30 touch. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Good. So now, if you've done it correctly, you're supposed to feel it on the abs that are just above your belly button and below your chest. Now we're going to work on the lower abs and for this we need to use the legs. So you're going to go down here and then up. If your back hurts, you can put your hands below your pelvis and we go for 20 of those. That's three, four, five. Keep your legs straight and don't touch the floor with your heels. Six. Ten. Eight, nine, and twenty. Now you keep your legs up and we go back for thirty touch. Ten. Twenty. And 30, good. Ah, now it starts burning a lot, right? And it's exactly at that point you need to keep going. Don't take a break and keep working out. Two, so we go back for 20 of those. Three. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Twenty. Good. Now we're going to go gently. Touch the knees and go down slow, 30 times. Those are for the upper abs also. Four. Ten. I regret saying 30. Three. Four. Twenty. Thirty, good. Now we're going to get back on a plank position and we are going to turn. 
for 20 times. So you go on one side, one, two. Try to hold for one or two seconds, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure your hips are fully extended. Two, three, and everything remains in line. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one. Good. Okay, guys, now you can take a short break and recover because the next exercise is going to be the last one, but the hardest of them all. So make sure you stay hydrated, you drink enough water, not too much because then it just flap, flap in your belly, you know, you don't want that when you work out on your abs. Just have one or two sips to recover some energy. By the way, this is a really cool product. It's an insulated water bottle, keeps your coffee hot 24 hours or your ice water cold 24 hours also. And you can use it as a foam roller because I've included a foam roller sleeve on it. As you can see, just put on the floor and use it like every other foam rollers. But this one is much smaller, so it fits in your bag easily. Whereas the big one, big pipes, you know, take lots of room. This is a really great product. If you want one, just go on the website, rapidfitnessequipment.com, and you can get this product. Okay, now get ready for the final exercise, the hardest of them all. You love to be sitting on your lower back. Try not to have too much surface of your back laying on the floor, because you just need to be like this for one minute. And then you do little sizer kicks. So you see you're activating big time the lower abs and the upper abs also since I'm lifting my shoulders from the floor. Keep your balance. 20. Oh my god, this one's always killing me. So if you like this video, you can subscribe down below. I will try to produce a lot of more content about speed, strength, explosiveness, mobility, rehab, a lot of subjects that are very important to know. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it.